This was the kitchen building to the Fell family farm, which could possibly be from the 1730s because it, it's been a long time. It's, it's, it's quite a wonderful house. It has windows in this end on the, on the upstairs, it, on the third floor. It's got windows in this end that look eastward. This house had uh, one room on the second floor, no fireplace. Uh, it obviously was for slaves or servants, but it had no fireplace in it, and it was just one big room with a wooden wall, kind of dividing it down the middle. And on the first floor, there, again, it was one big room with this enormous fireplace in this end. Uh, and it's, it's a wonderful fireplace. It's phenomenal. I can stand up in the opening. It's eight feet wide. And it has a, the oven in the back of the fireplace. And the oven, actually, at one time, was where this alleyway is. And the foundation is still partly in the basement of this house for that oven. Antel uh, started selling off the town. Uh, and as she began, so they did that. Her husband died. But one of the first properties that she sold was the kitchen building. And she sold it to a man uh, as a building. Uh, not as a lot. She sold it as a building, which would indicate that it was here well before uh, uh, any offering. And she sold it to a guy from Lancaster, uh, Pennsylvania. This was William Fell's farm. Uh, it was called Fell's Prospect. And uh, the kitchen building was where, for this farm, it's where they cooked. Oh, yes. Oh, it was, it was definitely a farm. And, and, be, and we think that that was his house. And the next few buildings down the street there, they were all sold as a group. And they were sold as the Fell Mansion. And they were sold, and that was about 1794, they were sold off. And we have the newspaper ad for that, the whole thing.